Okay, so. <laughs> so. Accents and. Accents. Accents. Eh. Eh. What? Eh. Better. <gasps> Chippy. Okay, well. Whoa! Whoa! Damn you! Herbs. Uh, herbs! That's the thing. Herbs. Hey guys, nice to see you this morning. We have a great session for you guys. We're comparing Englishisms and Americanisms that need to talk. It's fancy to have you here. We're gonna have a little cup of coffee and then move right along with uh, my friend Ben. I'm Ben, this is Scott. And we're doing American versus British accents. Very nice. Do you like uh, courgette? Man, I love what you guys. Zucchini is my favorite damn thing. Zucchini. Um, how how uh, you like your flat here in Istanbul? Man, I prefer a condo. Oh no, apartment. What do you push your baby in? Oh, we use a pram. Pram. How about and you, uh, uh, what do you use? Baby carriage. Baby carriage. Or, <laughs> Or a stroller, because we stroll the baby along the, uh, what do you call that? Sidewalk? Or pathway. Pathway? Walk path. <laughs> we, no? don't, we don't say any of those. What do you say? Pavement. Uh, along the pavement. <laughs> yeah. Pavement is a rock band in my mind, I don't know. Uh -huh. Pavement is anything paved. I don't know. Like the side of a road. The side of a road. Yeah, yeah. The oh. road itself. Okay. So, um, do you like to go to the movies? <laughs> Wait. I'm being American now. Oh right, okay. I'm confused. Uh, yeah, man. I go to the, I go to the cinema to watch a film. Oh, is what I do. Uh, the cinema. Cinema to watch a film. Lovely, lovely cinemas. Are you able to get chips at the cinema? No, man. But we can get French fries. French fries are my favorite. Really? Really. What, what type of uh, dressing you like on them? <laughs> Mustard. I don't know. What do you guys eat with chips? Uh, ketchup. Mostly ketchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like to think of myself as a little different, but I still eat with ketchup, yeah. Mayonnaise? We can be Belgian sometimes. Yeah. Is that a Belgian thing? Mix it. What do you guys do? You guys do the mixing? Mix Not it? past a certain age. You, you can't do that. <laughs> once you I still do it. Once you should have called me on my cell phone. Hey! Ah, mobile. Ah. Sorry, yeah, mobile phone. I say mobile as well. I don't oh, really yeah. say cell phone. Um, but it's a bit cold outside today. I noticed that you didn't wear your uh, sneakers. No, no. I've uh, it's on trainers. Trainers. Hey, man, your zipper is under. Is it really? I'm not gonna look. No. <laughs> and my, it's my zipper. My zip. Your zipper. My zip. Zip. -er. It seems like there should be some kind of pluralization of it, but I, I guess it works. Um, another big one. For example. I, I got this jumper. Is this a jumper? Or is it a sweater? Which one is it? Guys? It's a sweater. I think it's a sweater. It's not a jumper. Nah. Does the jumper have a zip normally? Hoodie. Hoodie has a zip. You guys say hoodie. What if the hoodie doesn't have a zip? It's a pullover. Then it's a jumper with a hood. Hoodie. Well, I had to come a long way today and uh, I took the motorway in one of my taxi driver, a <laughs> little bit nasty. He got lost. How did you get here? Where are you from? Man? Your <laughs> accent's like from all over. It's from all over the place. <laughs> man, I took the highway and god damn there was a lot of traffic. Hey man, how was the your principal at your high school? Well, the headmaster. Oh yeah, 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 the headmaster. I never realized that the principal was the headmaster. I just kind of thought it was like uh, the most experienced teacher or something like that. Principal. Did you ever have a, a headmaster that you really enjoyed, that you really liked? Uh, our primary school teacher, he was a cool guy. Head, and the other headmasters, the, my high school headmaster looked like Michael Jackson, but it was a female. Wonderful. Mm. We're just around t uh, the Christmas holiday, and are you going to go on holiday for this time? Yeah, man, I'm gonna take a short vacation. You're gonna take a vacation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the North Pole. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any differences about uh, how we address Christmas. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think you guys just do it more enthusiastically. Really? I don't know. I've never been to America in, around Christmas time. You guys do Christmas markets? 
Yes, but it's probably just some kind of fabricated thing from either Germany or the UK that they just put into like a shopping mall. Ah, it's indoor, always inside. Yeah, no, but the shopping mall could be outside. Do you mm. say shopping mall? No. What do you say? Mal. Mal? Mal. Go to the mall. You guys decide. I'm not sure. Which is right, guys? Is it mall? Or is it mall? It's the mall. It's the mall. Ugh, they're just gonna like you better because it's charming. Really? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, our Christmas markets are really good, based on German things. Did you get anything, um, did the mailman bring you anything from your family for Christmas time? You guys say mailman. Don't we? Do you say mailman? No, postman. The postman? He brings me lots of Christmas cards and I open them and glitter falls out. It's glorious. <laughs> glitter. Okay. Um, hey man, what comes out the... Do you guys really say faucet? Uh, yeah, faucet. Huh? Really? Yeah. That's like a super old person thing to say in England. Okay, so do you respect your elders? Of course. Okay, so we say faucet. Uh, tap, even spigot, some people. What? Spigot. Who? Yeah. That sounds like an Italian dish. Usually, <laughs> it does sound like an Italian dish. Welcome so. to the 21st century. <laughs> spigot. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, okay. This is This is a fascinating one. Okay, so um, where you put all your clothes at the end of the day, or before you're leaving the house, you got to take it out of the closet, right? Closet. The closet. Yeah. You go. We say closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And you? Wardrobe. We cupboard. Oh. Cupboard. Cupboard. Wardrobe. Okay, so uh, what's the other one with the car? Oh, you asked about the. You asked the about, gas. about gas. Yeah, your gas. Yeah. From the gas station, right? Yeah, from the gas station. I mean, we, we wouldn't say, I need to pick up some petrol. You know, I've got to fill up with petrol. Is it? Petrol? <laughs> petrol. <laughs> nice, I like it. Yeah, um, petrol station. Petrol station. You say gas station. Gas station. I'm gonna get some gasoline for the gas station for my automobile. That's right, my car. My car and my... I gotta fill my car up. Baby yeah. carriage. I got. I got to fill up at the petrol station. <gasps> Chippy, you guys have fish and chip shops in America. It would only be niche things in in big cities that have you know like hipster food, like New York or yeah, L.A., San Francisco, Seattle, Austin. I'm sure. If you know where you can find fish and chips, leave a comment below. Perfect. And also ask the builders to shut up, please, because they're very loud. Builders. Yard men. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Bill. Yeah. We're we're yeah. construction workers. Mmm. I'm construction. I think builders is better. Also, I'll adopt that one. Just like mobile. Did we introduce ourselves? My name is Ben. And you're from the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Not really. And I'm Scott, and I'm from, where are you from? Manchester. Really? No, you're not, are you? You're from Manchester. Wait, the American me or the English me? Yeah, the English you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just west of Manchester. Really? Warrington. You have such a nice, um, smooth accent for Manchester. Do they put it on more though, just to piss people off in, nah, the, in the US? My family speak like that. So, hey man. Yeah. What do you call that purple vegetable? Eggplant. In England, you call it an eggplant? Aubergine. That one. Aubergine. Aubergine. Pretty sure that's French. Man. When did you first come across uh, eggplant for aubergine? Maybe here in Istanbul. Really? Yeah. So, never in your life did anyone ever say, uh, would you like some eggplant? Maybe on television. Mm. But I probably just subconsciously denied that as a word. Just How about uh, if we find the fish and chi if we find the chippy, nice. you want to get takeaway? Yeah man, I get takeout. 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 Mm. I love takeout, especially. You, you, want, you want to get fish and chips for takeout. Is that the American way? Do you guys say takeout? Takeout. Do you guys say takeout? You say takeout or delivery. Delivery. Depending. If you're picking it up, it's takeout. Mmm. I oh, always say takeaway. Yeah, takeout. Takeaway. 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 So London, man. Take, take away. <laughs> the uh, other thing was barbecue. You, how you guys use barbecue food. 
I be, I know the mistake of that, so I'm I'm one of those people that wants to always say you're not barbecuing, you're grilling. Yeah, because in the U.S., barbecue is about, it's a cuisine. It's about it? sauce. Ah. And it has to be done a certain way, and then there's certain regions that have different categories of barbecue. But well, if you're just putting a, if you just put a shrimp on the bobby, <laughs> if you're just putting a steak on a grill, you're grilling. Yeah. But people say we're having a barbecue, and mm. I'm like, okay, but you know, it's but a, don't you say like, let's get barbecue food and refer to it as a sort of that, that too. Yeah. But yeah. It, it to me, it has to be. Slathered in sauce, barbecue sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we say like having a barbecue, which I agree with you, is just grilling things outside. Yeah. Have, so you say the same thing. Do you want to come over and have a barbecue? Okay. So we cool. finally found some common ground. <laughs> what do you put in a baby's mouth to get it to start crying and crying? Well, like a dummy. A dummy. Not a pacifier. Never heard that word in my life. Pacifier. Pacifier. Pacifier, no. It's a dummy. You just put it in there dummy. and you shut them up. Like my brother's a dummy? Yeah. Kind of dummy? Yeah. Like he's dumb. Well, it's not a child so smart to become a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? What else do we have here? Oh, so when you come over for the barbecue, then we'll have it in the garden, right? The backyard, you mean? The backyard. Backyard. Back of the house yard. The garden is the backyard. Okay. See, people even get this confused in England. If it's not got grass, it's a yard and not a garden. Okay, and that's fair. Because Do you agree with that? Yeah. Gardens are green. Gardens are... Is this a garden? Well, if we've sat there, then we would be sitting... In a, we could say we're sitting in a garden. Really? With the proper editing. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> um, but I just call garden, I call everything in the back of the house a garden. Oh, you do? Yeah. I, it Which was always, maybe incorrect. always backyard for me. Always Thank backyard. You. All right. Uh, well, that was American English and British English for you guys. And if any other suggestions for accents, we can't help you probably, but- I can help you. <laughs> yeah, help ben, you. Ben can help you. Um, I'm Scott. I'm Ben at Me To Talk. We're at Me To Talk. Leave a comment below. I bet you couldn't guess, but I'm the American. I'm the English man. Have a nice day. Take care. <laughs>